welcome back everyone. Okay, so we're out here with the Defender. We just have the rear on today. So, going with a good old rear wheel drive Defender today and I'm gonna see how well it does or how bad it does. And here we go. This is test number one. All right, we're coming around our first corner and already starting to spin quite a bit in the rear here. Interesting. If I try to hit this rock, I cannot get past. It is just spinning galore. But as soon as I bring it right around here, just a little bit, that's just enough, just enough left to get by. It seems like we're able to get through this little ravine, I don't know, not even a ravine, my little trench section decently well. I'm worried about this climb. That's what I was worried about. Your little speed. Alright, a little bit of speed helped, but we're really not getting too much farther than this in this whole little dirt section here. Oh, yep. Already catching a little bit with that front weight. Not going as planned. Oh, it's so bad. Let's try this little line right here. I do have some harder foams in here. I have pretty much the stock foams that come with these Andorra wheels on here. You really have to give it some juice if you want it to go anywhere. If you're trying to just crawl with the rear wheel drive, it is definitely no point. Obviously, it's rear-wheel drive, and that's the whole point of having four-wheel drive. Now, flip against anything, it takes it off course, and then those rear wheels have no traction. Yeah, holy cow. I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of that bind in the front end when you're trying to turn and also gas that rear-wheel drive, you know. You don't really have the good hook that you want. Yeah, obviously, you know, the biggest thing that's gonna be a factor of what you're doing with rear wheel drive is gonna be your lines that you're taking. But goodness, I mean, I'm not that horrible. Let's see if we can't get on out of here with some extra speed, yeah? No. He's after you. He wants to be in the video apparently today. He's uh, he's rather curious as to whether or not this rear wheel drive is worth your time. <laughs> I think he's like, yo, what are you doing with rear wheel drive on? He's looking for the front drive shaft because he knows that you shouldn't drive it in rear wheel drive. <laughs> this is such a bad line, isn't it? I really messed up, didn't I? Huh, kitty cat? Interesting, as soon as we get to here, okay. And <laughs> just a random little conclusion. Obviously, I, I'm pretty sure everyone knew exactly what the results were gonna be of this, but I figured I'd kind of show you guys to see like, wow, such a difference between your, you know, your rear wheel drive and your all wheel or four by four. So it's just, you know, what you're really getting quite a thing with the 4x4. Four four. <laughs> Defender seems to be quite disappointed in me as well for doing it in, in rear wheel drive. He's not happy either. So what happened by the way is um, my front drive shaft had fallen out. A couple of pieces went missing. So um, ordered another drive shaft on the way. And once I get that drive shaft, we're gonna be back on and running, ready to go with some more videos. It doesn't like it with the Defender. Maybe the Bronco will do better. Um, I could test out the Bronco. I'll ask our buddy Noah on that and uh, see what we could do. Maybe we could do a real drive Bronco and see how well it does compared to this. So uh, let me know if you guys would want to see that in the comment section. Um, other than that, I mean, it's pretty much the gist of what's going to happen with this thing. So um, we're going to go ahead and sign on out. Later, guys. Thank you for watching.